you sit back and listen to this for a minute. As a young black girl growing up in a poor household with my grandparents, my mama abused us and abandoned us and didn't care about us. So me growing up, personally seeing my mama being beat, hold on, seeing my mama being beat, being tormented by a man who she called she loved, seeing all that made my mind messed up, made me become the person who I am because I didn't know how to adapt to my feelings. Going to my grandma, telling her what's happening, what's going on in the household. My grandma took us away and got legal custody of us. So I was a young girl growing up with my mom and with my grandma. When the time I was being raised with my mother, behind closed doors, I was being beaten. I was being talked about, treated like a piece of shit, and judged by the color of my own skin. Now today that I can go out here and open up about my story, I want the world to know that I watched my brother being raped over and over again. I've been going to school, trying to talk to the teachers and tell them what's going on through my head. Physically, mentally, and emotionally, I would have dreams about it. Coming home, getting my behind cut because I was going to the school, telling the school what was happening. So me being who I am, a lot of people try to judge me on what they see that I post. But in this documentary, I'm letting everybody know the truth. That I became who I am today because of the fact that I opened up about my feelings and let the world know how I really feel about life itself and that I'm blessed to still be here because of the fact that my mother did try to kill me and set the house on fire and left me in there to die. And when my grandma told me that story, I said, you know, that's why I feel like I'm burning so much because of the fact that it ain't going to feel like hot heat. She's like, yeah, she set you on fire and left you in there. We broke the window and got you out of the house. So me being who I am today is like I'm telling everybody my story because of the fact that you know, somebody else might have went through that and is too afraid to open up. So if you can go out there and put yourself out and let the world know exactly what you're going through, why not do that? Because I feel like I'm free. I feel like I have to open up to the world, let them know, you know, this is my soul, my body, and my mind. I can't hold this in for so long. Being judged by the color of my skin, it killed me because of the fact that you know, I'm the same color as anybody else was. My mama treated me different because of the color of my skin. She said I wasn't her child because I was too black. She said I wasn't her child because I'm stupid, I'm a bitch, and all kind of things. You know what I'm saying? I look at it today like, you know what? That same woman gave me life. That same woman put me here in this earth and pushed me out and could treat me like this. It made me feel like I was an animal. Like I feel like I was lost in the world. That I couldn't be free. That I couldn't run and do anything that I wanted to do. How I wanted to do. Because guess what? I was closed in a dark room inside of a room. Sitting on a bed crying day and night. Asking the Lord why? What did I do? Why am I still here? Why am I born? And why is the purpose that you still got me here? Because of the fact that ain't going What? This is a documentary part one. This is a documentary part one. I'm coming to the world. Let